Ben, a 1-0 victory today against Southend United, but you said it's a fill at the start there, a mammoth effort from everyone at the club to get the game in the first place. Yeah, no, absolutely. Everyone's, everyone's dug in and, um, and I think that kind of typifies the, the performance. We've all dug in on the pitch and it's not the, uh, the prettiest of games, but it's, it's, it's a satisfying result. I was going to say, sometimes we had the 4-0 win in midweek against uh, Dagenham, really clinical in front of goal, but is this almost just as satisfying, if not more so, to dig out and have some real togetherness and grit and determination in the performance? Yeah, it's the first thing I said when I, when I came in. I think that was better than Tuesday, in obviously other ways. Tuesday was pretty on the eye. Today was, was like I say, we, we dug in, we, we limited them to, I don't think they had a shot on target. They're a good team, they're very honest, and um, yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's a proper performance. But in a team that's pushing for promotion, it's important to have those two sides, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You've got to win every every which way possible. I mean, score from set pieces. We score, you know, penalties, free kicks, open play. We've been free flow at times, and uh, yeah, to, to win like that and, and and the way that we have is is brilliant. And that togetherness really stemmed from the back three of you, Owen and Jordan, a real battling performance out there for the three of you. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit like the uh, the Maidenhead game at home, I suppose. Um, they're, they're more satisfying when you get the, the clean sheet and, and, and the manner of, of which you get it as well. Um, they're never never easy games to play in because you're always in a bit of doubt when the ball comes to you. You see sometimes it gets sliced out of play because you want to take the, the safe option because if you take a risk on that on that pitch the way it was today, you know it could could end badly. And today's win moves us on to 91 points with nine games left in a normal season. That would be excellent, but it just shows how good both ourselves and Notts County have been to know that there's so much left to play for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Listen, we've just got to worry about next Saturday and uh, it sounds boring, but that's the way we have to approach it. I don't particularly, not that I don't care how Notts County get on, but it is about us. It's about how we, how we go again next Saturday because there's no point in us worrying about them. we just got to worry about ourselves. And Phil mentioned it before, but it's almost the end of a break of a real run of games with midweek games in between there and to come out of that unbeaten must be especially pleasing. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice to see my family as well. <laughs> you know, it seems like forever I've actually been able to, I've actually be able to be present for a couple of days with them, which would be nice rather than worrying, moaning about daddy's aching or daddy's got to go back to work tomorrow. So yeah, it'd be nice to, to have a, a bit of time with them. But psychologically, that will only help you all moving forward with a break from midweek games and just the Saturdays so that you can have a bit more of that time away from football, a bit more time to rest and recuperate. Yeah, the thing is as well, you don't want to switch off. It, it, we might, I don't know, I actually don't know if we've got a couple of days off now. Um, but, you know, if we do get a couple of days off, it's important not to just relax too much mentally because you do need the physical rest, but also you need to stay kind of focused and tuned in on, on what's, what's to come. So, you know, Tuesday's training will be hopefully bang at it and, um, and everyone, everyone fighting for, for their positions for next Saturday.